Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is NPN Pulse Output Anemometer Sensor. An anemometer sensor is a device used for measuring wind speed and direction. It is also a common weather station instrument. In one of our previous projects, we measured wind speed using the analog Adafruit anemometer sensor and also displayed the wind speed in gaze on a TFT LCD display. But this is a digital anemometer sensor that has NPN pulse output. The NPN pulse output anemometer result is good and is also cost effective. The best part is it operates only at 5 volt supply. Alright, in this tutorial, we will learn how we can interface this anemometer sensor with Arduino board and 16 cross 2 LCD display. The LCD will display the wind speed in meters per second and can measure wind speed in the range of 0 to 70 meters per second. So, without getting any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. The NPN pulse output anemometer sensor is a 3 cup type anemometer that is capable of measuring wind speed up to 70 meter per second or 156 amperes. It is composed of a cell, the wind curve and the circuit module. After testing many types of anemometer, we found out this NPN pulse output anemometer quality is best as well as cost effective. Unlike the analog output version anemometer, this anemometer output pulse reflects the wind speed more accurately. Besides, this anemometer is totally waterproof with a stable installation design and is suitable for outdoor applications. It operates between 5V to 30V DC. The output is pulse type with a resolution of 0.0875 meter per second. The wind measuring range is between 0 to 70 meter per second. In working, if the anemometer turns one round in one second, the transmitter will output 20 pulses, which means the wind speed is 1.75 meter per second. Similarly, in 4.5 rotation, the transmitter will output 90 pulses. This means the wind speed is 7.87 meter per second. The anemometer sensor has four wires. The brown is the VCC pin, which can accept 5 volt to 30 volt input. The black is the GND pin, and the blue is the NPNR output pin, and the green is the PNP output pin. We won't use the green wire in this project. Alright, let's move to the practical part. This is the Arduino Uno board. We will use this microcontroller in this project to read wind speed. And in order to display the wind speed, we will use a 16 cross 2 LCD display that has I2C adapter. The I2C LCD will reduce the number of wires. This is the circuit diagram for this project. The LCD and both anemometer sensor is powered through a 5 volt pin of Arduino. The output pin of the anemometer is connected to D square of Arduino. Similarly, the LCD is connected to the I2C pins of Arduino. I used a breadboard to assemble the circuit. The Arduino board, LCD display unit and the anemometer sensor of them are connected to each other as per the circuit diagram. I powered the Arduino board using the USB power from the laptop. You may use any 5V DC adapter. Here is the code for the project. First, we need liquid crystal I2C library and assign the I2C address a 0 cross 27 and 16 cross 2 characters. Then, we define some variables for time calculation. The interrupt pin is defined as digital pin 2 of Arduino, which is connected to digital pin 2 of Arduino. Then, we initialize the count at 0. Under the weight count function, we are calculating the pulse based on interrupt. In the setup section, we initialize serial begin, then pin mode as an interrupt pin. Then, we enable the interrupt. This will initialize the LCD and its operations. In the loop section, we are calculating the wind speed on the basis of pulse output. First, the wind speed is displayed on the serial monitor. Then, we display the wind speed on our 16 cross 2 LCD display. Now, from the tools menu, select Arduino Uno board, then select the COM port. You can upload the code. 
After uploading the code and powering up the entire device, the LCD will display the wind speed at zero. This is because the cop are not moving and there is no rotation. The speed will change as the cop of the anemometer starts moving. I am currently checking indoors. Therefore, I am rotating it using my hand. As the cop spins faster, the more is the wind speed. I'm measuring the speed as a meter per second, but you can change the unit to miles per hour. I place the entire unit on the roof of my house and currently the cups are moving. The wind speed shown here is between 0 to 2 meters per second. You can fix this anemometer during windy days. Alright, that's all from today's project. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and return guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.